Tell me what is the P2P process initially? What happened? Material requirement plan. Then tell me. Anyone? You guys are already prepared, right? You have taken interaction group support and uh, demonstrated. Tell me the process. Sir, purchase requisition. Ah, OK. Metal requirement planning, just okay. best vendor selection. Purchase order creation. No. Quotation. Final payment. Final payment. Then then Reconciliation. Reconciliation. See, as a functional guy, as a FICO person, so you should understand which role you handle. Okay, so who will do the MRP? Material requirement planning will be done by MM people and APP people. You won't involve in that. And best vendor selection, MM people. And purchasing, MM, uh, MM people means MM end users. So any issues will come at the time of best vendor selection, any technical issues, MM consultant will deal. And quotation related, MM end users. Purchase equation, who will create purchase equation? MM end users. Who will create the purchase order? MM end user. Who will do the goods receipt? MM end users. Who will do the invoice verification? User. Final payment? Notify end user. End user. Reconciliation. Yeah, fine. End user. At least here you should understand who are the responsible for doing all this stuff. But as a functional person, as a functional consultant, in which areas he was involved? So you won't involve these areas. This is not yours. Because there is no GL assignments. See, vendor will be created. Vendor, vendor, right? Vendor master data will be created by vendor. Data, vendor master data will be created by business team or business master data team. So, reconciliation GL also will be created by all master data will be created by business team or business master data team. MDA master data team. At the time of purchase order, any GL related stuff. Profit center related stuff, cost center related stuff, business area, account assignments. This is called as account assignments. WBS internal order. For specific purchase orders, we need to give the assignments. Okay, like uh, GL, we need to give profit centers, cost centers. Okay, then, then, then any kind of issues uh, relating to these things. This account assignments at the time of purchase order as a functional guy you will involve. So user is getting these things in production system. You need to replicate the same production purchase order in the quality system and check and give this assignment and find out the error. It's relevant to any configuration stuff. Then you can start from the development. So you will find out the error, then you can start development and complete the configuration. You can go to quality test and you will solve the issue. Then ask the end user, please perform UAT in the pre-production 
and you will uh, move the, the transport request from development to quality, quality to pre-production. User will perform in UAT. Then UAT should be finalized. So you can take the UAT sign off from the user and then move the changes to production. Then production issue will be resolved. In purchase order, mostly you will find that this kind of uh, errors. Like the GL assignment uh, for the particular GL profit center not assigned properly, cost center proper uh, not assigned properly, BA not assigned properly, or internal order budget is exceeded. Internal order budget is exceeded. That kind of errors will come in the purchase order. Apart from these things, your, your role was not there. So no error will come for FI related. Okay, so tomorrow also we will take uh, FIT MM integration end to end. Just today's is overall idea regarding the process and all. Okay, so for goods receipt, so here FI document, FI to MM integration will be happened. Here FI document should be generated. So any issues uh, while uh, if, uh, any issues uh, relay, uh, related to accounting document. You are only part of accounting document doing any configuration. Account determination. FI consultant will only account determination. One more point here tax also sometimes added. Tax condition, any tax condition was failed. Tax is not calculated properly. So that case also you will involve. At the time of goods receipt, if FI document uh, should be generated, hence FI to MM integration will be happened at the time of goods receipt, right? So here FI document should be generated. In FI document, see FI document should be generated for FI document. GL accounts are assigned properly or not. If incorrect GLs are picking in the system, so you are solely responsible for uh, for this activity. See already implementation stage, everything should be finalized. Unit testing, integration, several kind of testing will be done in implementation phase. But in case of, uh, you know, the, uh, once implementation part is done, then the next step would be support. Still in support project, you are getting uh, this kind of uh, GL related stuff. The implementation already finalized, but you are getting this kind of stuff in the uh, support project. That means, uh, so don't change immediately the GL accounts. You can analyze. So why this error not come in the past? Why this error coming right now? Any back end changes happened or not? Those kind of analysis is required. See at the time of implementation, there is no issue and everything perfect and went well. Now the user is facing the issue right now. So then check it out why this issue not come earlier, why this is coming right now. That kind of free analysis you need to make. OK. And the second point is invoice verification. So here accounting document related errors will come. OK, and here invoice verification like account determination tomorrow will continue. Invoice verification, tax related, number range, number range, that kind of errors will not come in the support project. So tax related errors, mostly tax related errors will come at the time of invoice or any account assignment related errors will come at the time of invoice verification. So payment F110 in a variable, then a reconciliation. So this is the process of uh, like a P2P, like a, which is your role? So your role should be these areas. So in these areas, so you should be perfect in the real time. Okay, but interview point of view, uh, these are all things will be created by uh, MM people. The FI people involvement is a very, uh, FI people scope is very less comparing to MM. So P2P 80% part is SAP MM related. Your duty is GL account assignments, account determination based on validation class modifier. Okay, we need to assign the GL accounts. Okay, this is the overall idea today. So tomorrow I will tell you uh, based on this business blueprint, I will give you uh, some suggestions, tips uh, how to prepare for this uh, P2P and uh, FI2MM. So how to explain also. 
Okay, and you need to make a storyboard on this uh, uh, implementation as well as uh, just what, whatever the uh, today's discussions happened on the like your uh, introduction part and your uh, implementation part. So for that point of view, add some storyboards. Okay, storyboard is important. Storyboard means so how we can explain this thing to the interviewer that you can note down in your book. And uh, uh, after five, after 10 days or five days, I will ask you. I will ask you some question directly. Mock test I will conduct. So uh, that time, uh, this storyboard definitely helpful. You need to make storyboard on each topic. So today I tell you these are the areas of FI people, MM people involved. For that point of view, you need 